God bless you, everybody. Um, I just want to share with you uh, what God is saying. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, and God said to me, um, it's just beginning. And um, I had a good feeling about it. I didn't have, like, oh, gosh, like, what's, like... You know, because in the Bible, it always says, like, there's a part in the Bible in Revelation that says it's like the beginning of woes. Or I think Matthew 24 says it, uh, where Jesus says it's like it's the beginning of woes. Um, but I had a good feeling when um, the Lord said to, this to me. It's just the beginning. And um, so I went to sleep. And I was just like, well, what, God, what, <laughs> you know, what, what's the, uh, it's just beginning. I said, you can't just drop it like that and then don't like, you know what I mean? Explain it. So I had some dreams. Um, and in the dream, I, I went up to a, an apartment building and it was my apartment. It was more like, just like a room more than a, a, a apartment. And my room number was. 86 and um i woke up from that dream and i was just like god come on what are you you know what are you trying to tell me um and then as i was driving to work i i was still asking him about it and he said omega and i'm like okay i know what omega means because you know alpha and the meg omega the beginning and the end but I was like, God, you said to me that it's just the beginning. So why would you now be saying the end? So what God is saying here is that the end is just the beginning. And so a lot of you went through a lot of things where things came to an end. Like the marriage came to an end. The job came to an end. Um... Your, your living situation came to an end and maybe in a way that you didn't want it to like maybe you know your house got foreclosed on you know um maybe you got an eviction notice whatever things came to an end they came to a close um you know maybe you know things came to an end where you know you always wanted to have a child and you never uh, was able to have one and now here you are in menopause, you know, so things came to an end And you may be feeling like this is the end like I'm done. I'm spent. I'm a person over a certain age And this is the end for me But God wants you to know that the end is just the beginning He wants you to know that the end is just the beginning that what looks like the end, oh my gosh. What looks like the end is just the beginning. And it's going to be so beautiful. You're not going to understand how it, how it could even turn out. What looked like was death, you know, what looked like was, was dead is now going to be the beginning of something beautiful. And um, what comes to mind is, is, um, you know the winter time it it looks like death where if you if you live somewhere where you got four seasons the winter time is like it's like death there's no leaves on the tree you know and then but what comes after winter comes spring and that's where everything is beginning so you know we get caught up on this this time frame of the end we get caught up on the, the end of things but we know right after comes the beginning. And so it's just the it's just a natural law that actually plays out in our lives if we are receptive to it. And that's the thing, is because we can screw up our own our own new beginning. And so back to the dream, um 86, 80 well, eight, you guys know, is new beginning. Most people know that. And six is the number of man. And so he have us, he has us in an apartment, an apartment, a part, a state of being apart. And he 
he has you in this state of being apart from folk so that he can work on on man so he can work on you so and you're the man okay so he has you in a state of basically working on you so that you can be able to receive your new beginning and um god is saying it's just the beginning it's just the beginning of things uh wonderful beautiful things that he's going to do for you and um and some of you are experiencing that now some of you are experiencing your your um the, the blessings right now but god is saying even in that that's that's just the beginning like that's just the tip of the iceberg you haven't seen all the things that he's about to pour out upon you and um don't don't doubt for one second and, and i'm guilty as charged because you know um i have been coming into blessing but then i get to a certain point and then i'm like well i don't know you know so but don't doubt what god has said that he's going to do for you that is going to come to pass and um you're going to be like well how how can this be and, you know i think of mary um the the mother of jesus i think i think of mary mary when she says you know well how can this be when i know no man you know how can i bring to birth someone i've never known a man so some of y'all will be asking that same question um you know how can this be that i'll um um you know that i'll have such a turnaround in my in my uh my life in certain certain situations you're gonna be like well how can this be that you know i will I i'm older now you know th things are things are not the same maybe when i was younger if god would have said that i was going to be um i don't know i'm just throwing anything that i was going to be a multi-millionaire and 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 have a house and and all this stuff um how can this be and um some of you are, you're gonna ask that question but just like mary after she asked that question she just said be it unto me as you as you uh, as as god wants or something like that i'm paraphrasing just be it unto me as you say and so that's what we need to we need to say we need to just muster up our faith and just say lord be it unto me as you have as, as you have said you know so whatever god has said for you just accept it and receive it and just say be it unto me and so that's it guys i hope it encouraged you it certainly encouraged me and um god bless you and until next time